In this video, I will show you how to edit and create visualizations within Report Plus. Let's get started. Right now we're viewing a dashboard. The first thing we need to do is tap the Edit option in the upper right-hand corner. Once this is done, all of the visualizations can now be edited. For this example, we're going to focus on Top Contracts. So we will tap the More menu for Top Contracts and tap Edit. In this data set, we have all of the NBA players' salaries for 2014 and 2015, as well as the total value of their entire contract. This screen has all your fields. You can visualize the data you have on the left-hand side. The actual preview of the visualization is in the middle. Below that is a pivot grid, where you can pivot your data to create visualizations. On the right-hand side are all your visualization settings and options that we'll talk a little bit more about toward the end of the video. This visualization is showing all NBA players, so it's too much data to be useful. Let's narrow this down and look at the top 10 NBA contracts by their total value. We can easily do this with Report Plus. We will take the guaranteed data and drag it into the values field. We will take the player data, drag that into the rows. Now we have all of the guaranteed contracts for all the players in the NBA. If we wanted to filter that information, what you would do is tap the guaranteed field and create a filter by rule and by default it will filter the top 10. Let's change the visualization and we can clearly see that Christ Bosch has the top contract. If we wanted to sort this, tap the field again and choose to sort by ascending or descending and we see that Carmelo Anthony is the second highest player and so on. Additionally, we can create filters off of this data, so we can add a team filter. If you want to see the data for the Boston Celtics, you can do that. If you want to add a custom field, you can do that as well. Let's create this new field. Tap and choose the function option that allows you to write custom functions against your data and create new fields. Features such as this make Report Plus one of the most powerful mobile BI functions on the market. There are a variety of functions that you can apply to your data. You can write in a language similar to DAX. For more information on this feature, please refer to the user guide. You can create functions based on logic, like if not now, then this, by lookup, references, different math equations, and much more right from your mobile device. Let's go through some other features available to you when editing. We can preview a visualization, see how your users will experience this dashboard before you send it. On the right-hand side, you see your visualization types available. There are gauges including linear, circular, bullet graphs, and other options. You can set the bounds for this. You want to have data below a certain bounds appear red and above a certain bounds appear green. Let's say that we only care for things that were over 70 million. Everything else will remain red underneath that. You have your column charts and bar charts, all your most popular visualization types. For certain visualization types, you will need to have additional data fields selected to visualize. This chart supports multiple axes with the bar chart and with the line chart overlaid. Your other options are a line chart, an area chart, a pie chart, a scatter chart, a stack bar chart, a funnel chart, a radial chart, and other popular visualization types. We will stick with the bar chart. We can change the primary colors for this theme, and the theme can be changed at the dashboard level. Within those themes, there is eight different colors to choose from and customize the dashboard to meet your needs. There are some advanced settings, including legends, setting chart trend lines, and axis configuration. In this other tab, the parameters allow you to define within that data set what specific data you want to see. If I turn this off, the automatic selection, I can work by typing it in here at the top or by dragging my finger over the data I'm looking to work with. I can select a specific data range and then tap Done, and that will update the data set. The next tab allows you to create dashboard filters. They're filters similar to the filters that I showed earlier. However, they can be linked to all the visualizations in a dashboard. There's another video on this feature to explain it in more detail. Then there is the Dashboard Linking tab. This allows you to link one dashboard to another dashboard. Lastly, the General tab is mostly informational. To learn more about Report Plus, keep watching the guided learning videos, look through the product documentation, and for the latest updates, be sure to check reportplus.com.